Oh yeah, okay, so this is lesson two of the diff two. Um, it's all about differentiating E. And if you remember all my waffle about that, I was telling you that E is really, really special. That if you differentiate E to the X, the gradient function is the same. So that's quite nice. We can kind of go one step far or further forward. And we can say, right, if it's not X, if it's a function of X, then the weighted work is like a scaling factor. So it's like the F dash that X of it. The differentiating. So for this, all I do if I'm differentiating, actually I put it up here. For this, all I'm doing if I differentiate it is differentiate the power or differentiate the second function. The power. And stick it at the front. There is a formal method called um, chain rule, which does, which is what it does. But um, just remember, differentiate the set of the power, stick it at the front. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So do y by dx will be three lots of the differentiate e to the five x. I uh, differentiate that function, which is a five, and stick it at the front. To the 5x. So all I do is differentiate that function, stick it at the front. So dy by dx is 15e to the 5x. And that doesn't change. That's really, really important that that doesn't change. Because we've gone through like differentiation saying that we take one off the power, but that's only for um, x's and stuff like that, whereas this is e to the x. It's a bit different. So there's one there for you to have a go at. So same idea for this one. So I've got e to the 5x plus 2. So do y by dx is. Differentiate the power. So 5x plus 2 becomes 5. And then just write down the original function. There. Oh, okay, this one. There's one for you to do now as well if I have a go at it. Then this one. So differentiate the power is a minus 3. So I've got minus 6 e to the minus 3x. Differentiate the power is a half, so I've got 5 over 2 e to the half x. And then I've got a little lonely minus x squared on the end, just to remind you that you can actually still just differentiate like that. Yeah. That's alright, there's one over there for you to have a go at. Let's have a look at d. So if I differentiate that second function, the power, so dy by dx is 3 lots of 2x, so it's going to be 6x, and then e to the x squared, just like that. Yeah. Right. With this one, because we've not learned something called the product rule yet, we need to expand our brackets first. So I've got, remember, if it was e to the x times by e to the 2x, we add the powers together. But if you're talking, but it's not quite picking it up. Hello, yeah, if the bar has moved to the bottom that you can't see, so I'm just really it's working. So I've got 3e to the 3x minus e to the x. So then if I differentiate it, I've got 3 times 3e to the 3x. So 9e to the 3x minus e to the x. There's another one there done for you to do. Uh, so we'll look on the next page. Oh, there's an example two and an example three. How much writing is in example two? Uh, I might stop it and do that one separate. 